around three. Okay, let, let, let's wait for the game to start. Yeah, the, you know, there is, like, when a board gets really messy and then when you have, like, six other influence, you do tend to forget that you have Yeah, active. you tend to forget. <laughs> yeah, and, and Kim Fong... I, I, have a is, game, is, I have games where I, 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 I had Chen, but I, I totally forgot about his, uh, his ability, you know. <laughs> and he threw me the game last time. Kim Fong is blue color, and when the improver is active, it has blue borders. So it might, he might not overseed it. Yeah. Might have overseed they, it. They should make it more obvious. All right. So which game should we go to? The games are starting. People are starting the games already. Uh. Let's look at Hellscreamer. Okay. Hellscreamer. Hellscreamer versus. versus uh, yeah, they both Babs. both winners. Babs versus Hellscreamer. Let's go. Hellscreamer is from our community as well. Yep, he's from our Discord group. Yay! TIB okay, so Hellscreamer. Hellscreamer. Double blue, double red, and flashing green. Uh, Babs is flashing what? Double splash of green and red. That's yeah. an interesting choice. Yeah, let's look at but what, so far, what he has. What, what card he has. We have to wait for the first round to pass. Yeah, I guess it's, it's still not loading. Yeah. It's a valve fix, please. Valve. Dead game. Dead game. Valve fix. Dead on arrival. Valve, please fix. Give <laughs> it help. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's look at um, Bab's deck. Interesting to single green and single red. He has. I don't know, is, is that enough red to actually good red cards to warrant putting your Ursa? Maybe he just likes Ursa. <laughs> Because I, I don't think this red are good enough to warrant this little Ursa. No. How about the green though? Well, he, he has double height, so I guess it's okay. As well. Uh, Satyr, steel strength. Yeah, I think his green is okay. So okay. splashing green is okay, it's okay, but it's, I don't know about splashing it's, red. It's not great. Uh, but it's uh, okay. Yeah, most of people splash, red, splash green for one reason, which is for the dinosaur. <laughs> yep, the Tana Hide. People love dinosaurs. And that is fair, but I don't know about his red though. Although he does have enough magic, but uh, it's only useful in playing with Ursa, so it's a bit hard to use. Enough magic is fine. It's not It's not a S tier card. Oh, and look at that, you know, the Ursa versus uh... <laughs> the, the, the Viper in the mid. <laughs> yeah, so did the opponent just, Hell Screamer's opponent just DC it. Oh no, he, oh no, DC it. Uh oh, uh oh, Hell Screamer. Uh oh. Well, this maybe nothing... you want to pause the game. Can you pause the game? Uh, I don't think we we I don't should know. we should interfere. <laughs> I no, don't I, I don't mean us. I mean maybe you know. Yeah, can... yeah. I, you can pause the game. You press like what? I think you press F. Oh wow. Oh no, Hell Screamer. No. Why? Oh, not Why like this. this. Not we, this way. Free win, right? Not this way. Not this way. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure Bab is cursing his internet now. What? To be fair, there's it's not, it's nothing on the health streamer. There's not that he can actually. Yeah, can, true. He true. can he can pause, but you never know how long you might have to wait. True, true. The health streamer has some filler cards as well. Uh, you have combat training. You have temple of war. You have Sabimal arm master, which is okay. You have heroic resolve. I've never played that card. I think it's weird. Kind of yeah, scared. interesting draft though. Yeah, but, you, yeah you're right. But all he has some, cards. some powerful cards like Thunder God and the pet. I think his blue cards are decent. Tetrium Edition, yeah. Thunder God's Wrath. Yeah, like Agonem Sanctum as well. Yeah, you're right. Dimension yeah. Portal, three of them. The three Dimension Portal. Triple, triple, triple DP. Triple DP, yeah. yeah. That is disgusting. Oh man, yeah. disgusting indeed. DP is good with the... Uh, blessing as well. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, Bat is back. Oh no, I think Bat's not done. He's really upset. Yeah. Oh, I think he had pot. He he waited that turn for him. Oh. The shopping phase, yeah. That's good. Oh, he drew a double DP. Nice. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Dimensional Portal. Oh, this is a very interesting, interesting card. As much as we think. Pick uh, up. Okay. Uh, Upkeep up kill. That's good. Yeah. As much as we think that this card is very OP. Seems to not find a, a, a play in Constructed. There, I mean, there's a lot more better cards if you want, like, Mass Creeps. Yeah, you, have, you play Kana. <laughs> you, you want Mass Creeps. 
Kana, yeah, Kana. Venomancer. Kana or uh, Predax. Or oh, Predax. And the bar Barracks as well. Yeah, Barracks. Yeah, so Predax is uh, yeah, bar uh, signature card Barracks. So this I live to serve. Heroic Resolved. What does ha it have synergy with? Two. Dual. Non item cards. So he has. Yeah, he, to be fair, he has a bunch of two, two, two cost cards. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. He has a lot of red cards, low cost enough to make heroic, heroic resolve uh, decent, I guess. But the thing is, for heroic resolve, you're using a red hero, and red heroes generally have high health. You don't need that extra one or two health. And it's random. True, true, true. true. Well, I guess Kifi is uh, is is gonna be alive in the right lane forever. So card quality wise, I think uh, Babs has a better cards. Has better yeah, cards. I think Babs has uh, more quality. Uh, although I would say that you know, although the generally, generally, yeah, true. But I would say that Hell Screamer, yeah, I mean Hell Screamer has a lot of the powerful cards. Yeah. But he also has a lot of filler cards that sort of yeah. brings down the average value of the deck. Yeah, that's true. But I, I think, you know, if Hellscreamer plays his powerful cards well enough on the right times, it probably will give him advantage compared to Babs. Yeah, Babs has a lot of great late game uh, items. You got, Wait, who? Babs? Uh, Babs, oh, yeah. yeah. Babs has Horn, Vesture, Vesture Ring, Horn. and... Yeah. Red Vesture and Horn, Horn. wow. I'm not sure high value. How, he, how, how is he going to reach those cards. Exactly. He only has one Payday and two Mine. So but he has played one Mine already, so it's okay. He has his second mine in hand, so slowly, I guess. There we go, his second mine is deployed. He probably needs to pay day at, at like, what, 20 gold to get any value yeah. from it. Drops the uh, second dimensional, por dimensional portal in, uh, in the right lane. And it's not not looking good for Babs. The dimensional portal is it's very powerful on, on draft. And Babs has no board clear. Exactly. So he has, he has to throw throw bodies to to try to, to block to, to kill the creeps. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, you know, uh, Hell Screamer has one more DP. Yeah. So it's just gonna keep coming, man. And DP feels the worst when it, it's played with Augur. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've had games where you know, I think there's one game I had. I was against Triple Ogre, and he had Dimension Portal. And he kept rocking, you know, and I was like, ugh. Yeah, so, <laughs> Hell Screamer's hand is a little bit weak here. Yeah. Temple of War and Double two weapons, weapons right? right? And Temple of War, which is not exactly useful. And... Yeah. Oh, his third DP. The third DP. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Do you play it? You play it, right? Or do, do you play it left play... lane or right lane? I think you might... I'll play it. I'll probably play left. Yeah, go wide on the left would probably be better. Because right, he has uh, uh, Babs has a lot of ways to deal with it because of his heroes. Yeah, you, you, you look at the card, there's not, not that much ways of dealing with it. But I mean, currently his hand doesn't have anything, but he does have Slay and other things as well. So, so yeah, you know, if, if, from Hellscreamer's point of view, if he slays, think, slays you know, your Dimitri Crypt, you're happy. True, true. <laughs> but you know, but the thing is, uh, Babs has Settled Duelist and, all, and other Crypt as well. So, from Hellscreamer's perspective, I think. Uh, you know, he, he's probably wondering that Babs might have counterplays to his DP right. I think going for DP, DP on the right uh, might, might, be, might be fine. You go, you put more pressure on the right lane. True, true. That's one That's one, one way to go about it. Oh, but he doesn't have black blue hero here. He doesn't have blue right <laughs> now. So. <laughs> you can, can, oh, he can play Temple. <laughs> yeah, Viper Strike, the Farben. So for Babs here, you want to play around Thunder's Gods next turn. So you have to heal your stuff up. Alright, there you go. Or, or drop 8 health. Yeah. <laughs> can he save the Debbie? He can healing salve it up, but... He can... Romas and heal. Yeah. Romas is... and heal is 9. 9, nine health. So that Double Viper Strike. Oh, double wow, Viper Strike. Okay. He really yeah, wants he really to. Hates winter, but why bring? <laughs> so, is it upkeep next turn? No, it's Pentagon is 4 and Viper Strike is another 4. Not enough. 
So I think you should room. I think you should room us here before you heal. Actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. It just adds. There you go, Rumor, Ramask. But your Debbie will still die. To Thunder Scots. Yeah. Does uh, Ursa die? Ursa die as well. So it's a very powerful Thunder Scott here. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Double. Uh... He kills the uh, sniper in the first lane as well. Oh, okay. Yep, exactly. And he has. Okay, so this is a power turn for Hellscreamer. Yep. He gets power so turn. much tempo from this. That you, exactly, you kill off. He, he, has initiative, oh, he has initiative as well. Yeah, he has initiative as well, exactly. That's why. So that's why it's going to be a power for Hellstreamer as well. So the Thunder God this turn, whew! So where, where do you deploy Long. Zeus? And then, you can put a Zeus mid, I think. I think I might actually put it mid. Yeah. You play Thunder God in the first lane, kills Ursa, and you play the D portal middle. Wait, exactly. And then you develop a free lane. But yeah. I mean, maybe Hellstreamer didn't notice that. But he should just Thunder God this turn. Let's go do it. Definitely. Let's do it. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep the kill on Ursa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Can't get any better than that. That was like. Yeah, man. That was like triple. Three, yeah, three kills. Yeah. Two kills specifically. Wow, and he's another one. Another thunder <laughs> Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. Balance. Balance, indeed. Oh, yeah. I think TP's. TP is a legion out. Okay, that, that, that's uh, solid. Okay. I guess it makes sense. Makes sense. You want to keep the uh, blue hero on the first lane because you want the Thunder Scots for the first lane. Exactly. <laughs> you want the Thunder God or whatever else. So you can Thunder Scots again, right? But doesn't doesn't kill Next like can. Does Next it do can. anything? Uh, it kills the Winter. Why it? it kills Winter with, upkeep, with, yes. With the... No, not, not really upkeep, but just the... The next turn. No, you kill it this turn with the Zeus proc. The piercing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the oh, key. yeah, yes, you're right. But you probably just play Dimensional Portal and let me yeah, die. Yeah, I think that's better. You play. I, I, I... Let me just die next turn with the yeah. Master Strike. Yeah, he died next turn. Indeed. So, what can Babs do? I think he should assassinate Jumoi. That's one, one, that's one, thing, one thing he can do. What can he do? He can assassinate Jumoi. Jumoi? From to the first lane? Uh but yes. what for? You're just helping oh, no. you're just helping House Grimmer to unstrand his hero. Move away, right, I yeah. guess. True, true. True, true, true. Hmm. Mm, it's tough for Babs. But I think game is not over yet. I think if if House Grimmer deploys Zeus mid and deploys uh, and develop the D portal, and having two heroes coming in next turn, he might have just won the game by doing by deploying by doing that deployment. Exactly. Straight, straight off from from that play. Okay, he's gonna, he's oh, gonna TP okay. the wyvern. Saving wyvern. Yeah, that's fine. TPing wyvern removes the double weapon strike. Exactly, and it heals him up to full health. So you're saving uh wyvern. Nineteen gold. You can buy shivas. Please boots. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, 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 wow. Pretty good. Buying everything. Nice. You can go all in there. You're going mid. Okay, you're going mid. You see, uh, if the Zeus has been played middle. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, good. Good TP as well. Well, hi people say hindsight is always twenty twenty. Yeah. Mr. Hindsight. No, but, but, but the thing is, JS has called that out already, so which means JS already knew it. Ah. Calling shots. So what should Babs do? He can't do anything this turn. He can't do anything for the next two two lanes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can he turn the right lane to his favorite? Does he have any board clear? He doesn't have. He uh, has intimidation though. So. I don't think in intimidate. Violent is pointless. The, the keeping. He has he just and crawler though. Hey. And slay. And no accident. Playing Aaron. 26, 20 damage. That's a lot. Ooh. Oh, it keeps everything alive on the right lane as well. I okay. am not sure about that, Ramas. Yep. I think he might just want to pressure both lanes. I think there's no point pressuring both lanes. You might as well keep your middle, middle hero, middle staff as healthy as possible. 
can he clear the board? He has nothing to clear the board. He intimidates the key fee. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the, that's, that's okay. good. That's good. That's, that's, that's good better lane. than the mid lane. That's slightly better. Mid lane is if if it's mid lane is probably lost. So it was 50-50 for Babs. I'm not too sure about the intimidation play. I think it just yeah. I I also don't I also don't, don't think it was. Greeting shot thing. that thing. Oh, okay. You I think you he could have you know <laughs> reduce two damage and gives to get three damage. Three damage. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to cut. You have to give up this lane and defend your second lane. Defend mid, yeah. I mean, not give up, but uh, slow it down. Uh, slow, slow down the middle lane. Zeus mid. Zeus mid, of course. Okay. I think we'll we'll see a party lane in the middle. In the middle, <laughs> indeed. It's like Triple my Dota, It's like my Dota game. So you have six heroes in mid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just disconnected. Triple mid, triple mid. If you can go triple mid, you probably have to. There we go. Party in the middle lane. Oh, no, he changed. Oh, uh, he moved. Debbie. Hmm. Why though? Uh, because he wants to assassinate the Zeus. Assassinate. Yes, you're right, you're right. Uh -huh. Assassinate. But he doesn't have initiative though. Can he Can he kill anything with the assassinate? Can he, he can kills kill... the Zeus. He can kill the Zeus. Uh, Zeus. Which is, uh, I think, what he wants to do because he doesn't want to have. Uh... Oh, okay, enough oh, magic. Enough in magic, okay. Never enough mind. magic. So, I don't think enough magic, you probably, for Hell Screamer, you duel, duel the Debbie. 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 No, 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 you don't do anything this thing. You keep the initiative for the duel. Oh, okay. Ah, Thunder's, oh yeah, Thunder's God. No, okay. no, I think that was a that was the wrong play. That's a weird play. You probably should have uh, duel Debbie so that, you know, or no, no, that you save, he's locked up. You save your duel for the second lane. No, but the thing is, you want to see now he can assassinate. assassinate. It doesn't. It... Why? Hmm. Why, Why kill? Legion? Yeah, you always save the door for the second. Why Legion? Uh, I would have locked the blue out at least. So now he wants to headshot the Legion, right? So what can you do? Maybe that is. That is okay. Hmm. So you I fighting, what, what, you fighting what, what instinct you your legion. <laughs> you fighting instinct your legion so that it doesn't die to the headshot. Okay, so we have a uh, we have a comment in Twitch saying that uh, we should probably watch Godspeed versus Mage Store because apparently Godspeed has a cancer deck. Okay, uh, <laughs> I am not in. We should we look at cancer deck? Okay, we will check it out. Later, later, later. Yeah, later. After this okay. game. Okay. I think this game is not not yet. Not over yet. Not almost, yet. almost, 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 yeah. One almost damage off. <laughs> if only he had a weapon. If only he had a weapon. Can you drop anything here? Can Bab drop anything here? No. I... Bab no, can... Bab can't really do anything. He has to. Oh, move... he can cover the knight. He has to move his winter weapon right to the yeah, middle. Yeah, he has to move uh, to mid. To cover mid. Knight to mid. That's the only play, but even uh, then... Yeah, there you go. Just to defend mid. So, does... Hell Screamer has anything to deal direct damage? No. Well, he does have Lightning Strike. Enough. Lightning Strike? Okay. He has yes. Lightning Strike, so yes, if you draw Lightning Strike, it's, it's probably little. Unless, of course, uh... Yeah, and he has Initiative as well. So if you draw Lightning Strike, it's his game. Yes, battlefield control as well. Can you target towers with battlefield control? Oh. Yes, I think so. You can. You can. You can. Okay. Yes, you can. I didn't know that yeah. actually because I I I didn't know that through a game because of that as well. So if he if he if Hellstreamer draws his uh, lightning strike, it's, it's game. Alright. And... Thunder Scott, nope. does it kill anything? Do you play it here? Or uh, doesn't kill anything? You give up initiative. Uh, yeah. You probably don't want to play. It. But he can't do anything else though. Like, there's no guarantee lethal for uh, so, Shima. So the question is, do you need initiative in the second lane? Probably not, right? No, I don't think he needs to, so it's yeah. fine. So because there's it. nothing he can do, mid. Can, mid. can you kinfolk the tower? No. No, you can't. <laughs> kinfolk is a unit. <laughs> kinfolk is unit. Okay. <laughs> OP, OP. Kinfolk tower. <laughs> it's too damaged, but... I'm sure a lot of people will try. Including myself, I tried it before. <laughs> tried to click it. <laughs> Desperate measure. 
So he's threatening lethal in two fronts. Not bad, not bad, Hell Screamer. Yeah, silent, I think Hell Screamer is definitely favored. But can silent. Babs do anything? Is it, is it completely lost for Babs? He can slay the creep, okay. That was that pushes one tower at least. Well now that uh Zeus is that is dead, next turn even if he draws uh uh can zap. he can zap, yeah. Oh he can on the oh yeah, he can. But it's lethal already in the first first if he has the lightning strike, I think. First lane, is it lethal? Yeah, yeah it is lethal. Yeah, it is, 30, it is. 32 damage already. Put the yep, legion there. It is, it is. So. Unless, of course, the somehow creeps spawn left. Alright, alright. Okay. Possibly Bats the last is hanging round. hanging by a thread. Yeah. Probably last round. Can Hellscreamer do it? Nope, nothing. He can do anything here. You can drop these uh, duelists just to keep it interesting. Yeah, just to defend. But I think if Hell Screamer just draws his uh, Lightning Strike, it's probably lethal. And depending on the creep deployment as well. He has 10 gold, so he can. Okay, he can't buy anything that. Okay, he can buy Siege more. Okay, there it is. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, no creeps. It's over. It's over. Draw. <laughs> draw your. Draw Lightning Strike. Can put a eh, sniper can't does he have assassinate? He does have assassinate. He can get rid of two Oh he can get rid of five damage on uh, Jimui. Oh she's it gets get blocked as well so. Oh the arrows. The arrows are good for bad. Hero sniper. Better to control. Oh he has dual, okay. Oh yeah, he, he has better to control. That's that's, no, that's not gonna remove game. it. He hmm. Well, he can maul. Just maul onto uh, Jamoy. Yeah, maul Jamoy is lethal. I'm back, and it's more Jamoy is lethal. This yeah, is my siege. More Jamoy is lethal. Oh, Vandal is blocking. So or he blocks it. Okay. Yeah, he blocks it. But he also has two more prowlers to block. Well, one more prowler <laughs> based on his mana. Prowler? Oh, he can even play ogre as well. Eh, no, he can't play ogre. Yes, uh, oh, sorry, my bad. He only has black. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, not green. My bad. My bad. Is small also enough? Nope. Small also enough. Okay, he survives another turn. Yeah, he survives another turn. He can't use battlefield in the mid lane as well. There's no blue. Yeah, yes, there's no blue. Oh, but he can uh, mo he can maul the viper. Oh yeah, maul is lethal for for mid lane. Yep. Unless of course, can can Babs kill his viper? Nope. Nope. And Vesture yep, is lethal with the maul. Vesture is not enough to block the maul. Maul is enough. To win. Oh, you can just maul here. No, you can't maul here. You can maul the. Uh... No, siege oh, has no, to be blocked. Yeah. yeah. Siege has to be blocked. So, uh, his uh, Jamoy is gone. I mean, if yeah. he if he maul Jamoy, it would have been lethal. Yeah. yeah. But you can maul you can maul on the creep. <laughs> Tell a creep to maul the hammer for you. One day. Okay, so artifact. maul on Viper is lethal. There we go. Nothing else that can, can do, so Vesture. I think I Vesture is not enough. Vesture is not uh, enough, Vesture it's only one armor. Damage. Yeah, one armor. So it's not enough, I think it's lethal. No, Vesture yeah, is three, three armor. Sorry, three armor? Oh yeah, oops. Yep, GG. Alright, let's go look at the... Uh, Cancel deck. Let's go check out Godspeed's deck. Apparently someone mentioned that it is a Cancer deck. Okay. Let's go. So uh, how many games are left? Uh, he, his game is... He, his game is completed, but look, let's look at his cards. X, Bristolback, PA, Bounty Hunter, and Sniper. <laughs> Does wow, this, wow. This, is, did he just bring Constructed to the draft? It feels Constructed. It sounds <laughs> Constructed. This oh is, man. This is a Constructed deck. So, so, so fair. So fair. Alright. But it seems like he won his game, so he's... Yeah, Godspeed is... Uh... Let me just look for him. Where is Godspeed? So let's I can't let, find Godspeed. Godspeed is uh, 3 and 0, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's 3 and 0, yes. 3 and Godspeed. 0. Well, with his deck, I, I, I hope he just. Oh man, if, if he doesn't win this deck, then I don't know what. Let's look at his deck. He has Payday, Reftel, 
Okay, so here's but here's so this is a gold deck. For Econ us. deck. Econ deck looks like it. Uh, he has assassinate. No, he has two ogre conscripts, two red mist pillager. Wow, triple oglody. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of tower. Wow, this is straight up face. tower damage. Straight up face deck. Sounds straight like up face, face deck. deck. Constructed aggro deck. <laughs> just constructed aggro. Wow. Uh, where's the re where's oh. the report button? <laughs> <laughs> report hacks. Report. Okay, let's hop into the can kick. The last game of the of, of the round. Let's go. Yes, can kick versus. Whatever that is. Some Russian. M pi out. Something, something, something. Okay, let's see how's, the, how's this game going. Hmm, Ancients already exposed. On Ancient both sides. Banks, both are, both have one tower down. So I think it's third lane. Yeah, yeah. third lane is the one. I think. Yeah, I think it's, it's lethal. It's lethal. Wait, yeah, lethal. Short sword. Short sword. Yeah. With the short so, short shot. Short shot. Short shot. Short shot. Lethal. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think uh, yeah. the Russian guy got it. Yeah, that's not there's no outs. Oh, it's Greek, not Russian. My bad. You're right. It's Greek. You're right. It's Greek. Pi, mm -hmm. alpha, and uh, yeah, Greek alphabets. Okay. It's uh, it's it's Greek, not Russian. How do you pronounce that? His name though. M I mm. out car pack. <laughs> It's M three point one two one four two. You you probably don't tr don't pronounce the name. <laughs> if, if you if you How try to pronounce, pronounce you are one of the one one of the one who gets trolled by by him. No, I I think let 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 us Google that. Let's try Google it. It might See be uh it might be something. I don't know. I think it's definitely something. It's definitely something. But yeah, but he 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 has a game. Yeah, there it is. Short short little. Value short, three short. goal, three goal item. I can't copy his name. Let me try if I can copy his name and put it into Google. From Steam, I sounds. think you can copy from the the tournament chat. Yeah, tournament chat. I, then go to his profile and then copy. Let me just okay view profile. And then copy his name. Yeah, this will be over soon. Yep, indeed. Just one more round. Little does uh, the other guy know that it's little. Yeah, he's like, oh, one damage, two damage short. Dun. Dun. Can... Heart sounds of heartbreaks. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the tower breaks. Oh, interestingly, after I copy into Google, it's not capital M, it's micro. Okay. The more you learn. All right, so I think that's Putaras. His name is Putaras. 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 <laughs> yep. According to Google Translate, it's Putaras. Okay, let's go to round four. Now uh, we have a draft, so another draft. Another yeah. draft. So oh. we have a we have, we have a thirty minute downtime. So oh, damn it! I wanted to see I wanted to see his uh, constructed deck in action. Yeah, I I think you want to see, but I think the participants probably don't want to see that deck. <laughs> I don't know. I will learn to see how that works. Yeah. I don't want uh, to see that. <laughs> All right. So that that's conclude for the first round. Okay. So that's the first round. So uh, those of you who are here, I guess we will just uh, those of you who have just joined us, welcome to the stream. So now they are gonna draft for another half an hour. So we'll be back into games in uh, ten forty five ish yeah. SGT. So I guess just a few bit of announcements. Uh, those of you who were not here in the beginning, uh, first of all, want to welcome our guest. I'm not sure. Am I pointing in the right direction? Uh, you, yeah. you, you, you point point to a direction, and this, this direction is, one. is me. <laughs> yeah, I I am is I'm is. Okay, so I'll be pointing here to zero. Okay, so we have a special guest here, uh, Dao Wei Zero Tang. So he is here to help us cast the game, and uh, he's more. Uh, well versed in the world of Dota, he has a lot of experience in uh, casting and hosting events and tournaments and esports scenes in Malaysia. So he's a, uh, I guess, esports figure in Malaysia, mm. and he has graced his he has graced us with his presence. <laughs> so everyone say hi, and uh, yeah. So uh, this is our Twig tournament. So today is our first uh, Twig tournament to kick off our Twig series. So just to you know reiterate uh, for those of you who are unaware. Twig is our monthly tournament circuit. It's called the Warden's Ironwood Gauntlet Twig. 
And uh, essentially every month we will have weekly qualifiers uh, and which will come culminate into the uh, Twig Invitationals, which will be the last Sunday of the month. So every qualifier will, will run every single Saturday at around 8 p.m. SGT. So if you missed this week's one, you can always join next week or the week after. And uh, as for prizes, we don't have any prizes yet. Uh, for today, we actually have $10 SIM credit for the winner. But uh, we have $10 credit for the upcoming winner as well. Yes, and uh, for, next, for future weeks, we actually have uh, some members of the Discord channel has been gracious enough to donate additional money. So uh, we will have prizes for next week and the week after as well. So do join if you guys have a uh, chance. Uh, join our Discord. You can, uh, you know, exclamation mark Discord to find the link. And uh, so I'll donate. Okay, so the way we do run prizes now is that we have the philosophy of from the community for the community. So every month, we will be running a donation pool. So all of you guys, if you are kind-hearted enough, you know, from the uh, bottomless kindness of your heart, do donate, <laughs> and uh, we can we will pull the money together, which will then be used for the prize pool of the next month. For example, this month's donation, which you can see at the bottom here, will be the prize pool for January. Hundred percent. Um, yes, oh. for January's. Sorry. Hundred percent will will be. Yes, hundred percent will go to the prize pool for tournament participants, and this prize pool will be divided among the top three winners of each qualifier. So next month, January, I think we have four qualifiers. So which that means there'll be 12 winners across the month of January. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because we want it to be a weekly thing so that you know every week, uh, all of you guys have something to look forward to. All of you guys have a chance to win some money and you know just play and have some fun. You know, So we, uh, we are trying to um, emulate the Friday Night Magic uh, style. Uh, as for the Twig Invitational winners, which is the uh, championship at the end of the month, uh, we, we are planning some prizes. So hopefully in the future, you know, once we work things out, maybe we get sponsors, or maybe you know you guys are willing to donate more, we can actually pull more money for the Twig Invitational winners, right? So uh, do check out our Discord for more information. Uh, it is always sit there. All of the rules, all of the uh, structure, all the numbers are all there. And uh, yeah, so do donate. So the donation link is down below. And uh, I guess we, for now, we're going to do a quick shout out to our current donors. So currently, we have, I think, uh, two donors. Yeah, two donors. Yeah, we have two donors as of now. Uh, so this will be in the price pool for January. So first of all, we have our very own zero. He donated $10. And we also have the Chai Pies. So as you can see down there, the current name, the Chai Pie has donated $10 as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, so uh, do you want to talk about draft? Maybe some, you know, drafting key tips? I believe we, like... can, we can go into the break and then we'll talk after. Okay, so uh, we'll have a short break, guys. So all of you guys who are watching, thank you for tuning in and do stay for the next round. Hopefully there'll be some even more disgusting constructed decks in draft. All right, be right back.